Ralph Irvin, and in celebration of the 40th anniversary of Title IX, we here at UCLABruins.com want to focus on some of the great pioneers in women's athletics, especially here at UCLA, and why not talk to one of the greatest Bruins of all time, UCLA softball legend Lisa Fernandez. Lisa, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, and God, those are great things you said about me. I appreciate that. <laughs> when you came to UCLA, you were a Southern California product, but it wasn't the same atmosphere coming into this program that it is today. I mean, the softball stadium here at Easton Stadium was nothing like it is now. Things have definitely changed. Uh, Title IX did an amazing job of just really uh, promoting women's athletics and, and taking it to a new level. Uh, you know, for me, when I came in as a Bruin, uh, our sport has definitely grown. In the addition of programs just from universities to the SEC uh, coming along uh, within the last uh, 10 years to um, just the facilities that uh, many programs play in. Uh, you know, when I played, we just had a couple of bleachers, and, you know, we were definitely not where we're at now. No clubhouse. We kind of had a... Uh, I don't even know, a bin that you'd say that we'd put all our stuff in and then we'd, you know, have to track our bags home and uh, to our dorm rooms and then be able to bring them back up. You know, now uh, we're fortunate. We're fortunate to have a clubhouse where the kids can put their stuff, locker rooms where the kids can put their stuff. And it's just a credit to be able to see uh, just how much our sport has grown, not only in the addition of opportunities and college programs that have added the sport, but also the facilities that, you know, these athletes can play in. Well, you mentioned the uh, growth of the sport in other universities. That's one area where UCLA was very much ahead of the curve, and you were able to benefit from that. Uh, definitely. Uh, very fortunate. The Pac-10 at, at the time uh, when I competed um, was dominant, and uh, we're still there. Um, but the growth has gotten widespread, where the talent pool has gotten greater. Uh, more athletes are now participating, uh, more female athletes. Uh, it's probably, I can't even imagine the growth, you know, from when I started uh, back in you know the early 90s to where it is now just how many athletes are actually playing our sport and you know that's all due to Title IX the exposure that we've been able to receive uh, especially the Olympics and what that was able to do uh, in order to promote this game uh, it's just been an incredible experience uh, for me to have the opportunity to see it not only um, as an athlete but now in the coaching ranks to be able to see how big the sport has gotten. Beyond softball here at UCLA was a time of great success on, on the women's athletic side. And I guess really a lot of that would be attributed to Dr. Judy Holland. Judy Holland. Uh, can't say enough about her. Uh, just really someone I idolized, a pioneer th who did it the right way, um, was a female who had a presence about her that spoke volumes um, and knew how to get it done. And she was just an advocate of the athlete, uh, an advocate of women's sports and just sports in general, and was someone that, uh, if you were doing the right thing, was always going to be there for you. And that's probably the most important thing, just had integrity in terms of what she uh, validated and, and how she represented UCLA athletics. And if it wasn't for her, you know, definitely for me, I wouldn't have had the opportunities um, that I had growing up and, and obviously being able to not only compete here on the field, but to have an education that I do. Um, you know, it was all through the sport I love and, and being able to do it with Title IX and, and Judy Holland was a big part of that. Well, that's one thing that I know that UCLA was a pioneer in terms of, of expansion and openness to all races. And it really was the same way with women in terms of welcoming them in, whether it's from Southern California or anywhere in the country. Well, we take a lot of pride. We take a lot of pride as a university in just being the best of the best. And it doesn't matter what sport, doesn't matter male or female, doesn't matter um, anything. It's about getting it done. And, you know, not only do we want to get it done on the field, but in the classroom. And so we're the total package. And that's something that, you know, when I walk out on a field and have UCLA across my chest, which makes me so proud. All right. Well, Lisa, thank you for the time and uh, sharing some memories. Yes, definitely. It's always good to be a Bruin, Bruin family. We want to thank Lisa Fernandez for joining us and continue to join us throughout the year as we look back and get some memories and stories as UCLA celebrates 40 years of Title IX right here at UCLABruins.com.